Hi there. This is Anoop. Today we are going to talk about Intune RBAC Viewer. There's a new tool in Intune to check the RBAC or role based access details of a user. If you want to find out role based access details of a user, you can use Intune RBAC Viewer tool. So this got introduced in 2306 version of Intune and we are going to cover this tool or option in this video. So don't skip the video. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's check what is Intune RBAC Viewer. What does role based access control? Where is Intune RBAC Viewer option? And where is this roles and scopes option shown in the Intune portal etc in this video? Let's go to the next slide. Let's understand what is Intune RBAC first. Intune RBAC is a role based access control and it is basically a workflow that helps organizations to segregate roles and responsibilities between different support teams by providing them limited access to specific resources depending on their job role and scope. You can have granular control and delegation options for level 1, level 2, level 3 teams in Intune depending on the operating model that you have. If you want to know more about Intune RBAC, we have a dedicated video for that. If you click on i button in YouTube over here, you would be able to see that video. In Intune RBAC, we can create custom admin roles also. How to create that? Again, we have explained this in detail in the previous video. So refer to that video over here in the i button. So you can take an example of a read-only operator and you can create a duplicate of that RBAC role and you can customize that particular role if you want. This is where we are going to start discussing about Intune RBAC Viewer tool. What is RBAC Viewer tool? How that is going to help you? RBAC Viewer is always going to help you in troubleshooting issues. When an admin is having trouble in accessing something which he or she should have access, then this tool will come into picture. Intune RBAC Viewer tool. This is integrated to Intune portal and if you go to troubleshooting and support, you will get this particular view. You can see See the role name and role assignment, group name, scope name, source, type, etc. If you are not sure about what are the difference between role name, role assignment, group name, scope name, etc. Then you need to go back to Intune RBAC video and check that out. Okay, So Intune RBAC viewer tool is basically for troubleshooting purpose. If you want to troubleshoot some of the admin access issues for some of the Intune resources, this is your go-to tool. Now let's go into demo and check this out. Now let's check how to get to Intune RBAC viewer tool or option in Intune portal. So I have logged into Intune portal and I am going to troubleshooting plus support node. Under troubleshooting plus support node, you have to go to troubleshoot node. Under the troubleshoot node, you need to search with a particular user that you want to check the RBAC. So search with that username. Once you start typing the username, it will automatically pop out the user details over here. And you can select one of the user from this option. I have selected HDMD test account and you have different options over here. I'm not going to go into details of each options because we have already discussed this option in the previous video. You can click on the I button in YouTube to get those details from a dedicated video of new trouble troubleshooting experience in Intune portal. So let's go into Intune RBAC viewer option. If you scroll down a bit over here, you can see uh, the last item over here that is called roles and scopes. That is the one we need to look into in detail to get into Intune RBAC viewer tool or option. I'm going to click on this roles and scopes and check what are the things available over here. What you can see over here is there's one role 
assigned to this particular test user and that is read only operator role this is a built in rbac role and where is the source of this rbac coming from intune itself because some of the sources are or could be azure active directory we will see that in a bit and scope name we have not selected any scope name for this particular user assignment that is why it says none and what is the group name you can see the group name over here that is hd md user group and role assignment details also available over here role name is significant over here and then group all the other details are very important for the troubleshooting scenarios and you have an export option over here if you want to export the details from our back viewer over here okay let's take this particular example from jitesh and check what is happening over here you can see there are two roles and scopes assigned to jitesh admin account. Account. We are going to see what is happening over there from Intune RBAC Viewer tool. Click on that. You can see there are two roles. One is Global Administrator, other one is Local Administrator Password Operator. And you can see source of the Global Administrator role is Azure Active Directory, and the source of the second role is Intune. And one is a custom role, and the other one is a built-in. role and one is a direct assignment other one is group assignment as you can see over here now that you know all the details about intune rbac viewer inside intune portal itself how to use it how to get there and how it is going to be useful in your organization etc hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around